Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from some applications of trigonometry chapter which had appeared in CBSC board exam 2025. Now, this question has three sub questions. The first and second sub questions are for one mark, and the third sub question is of two marks, and it has an OR question as well. That is, either you can attempt the A question or the B one. So, let us start with the first question now. Passenger boarding stairs sometimes referred to as boarding ramps, stair cars or aircraft steps, provide a mobile means to travel between the aircraft door and the ground. Larger aircraft have door sills, 5 to 20 feet, that is 1 foot is equal to 30 centimeters high. Stairs facilitate or help safe boarding and deboarding. An aircraft has a door sill at a height of 15 feet above the ground. A stair car is placed at a horizontal distance of 15 feet from the plane based on given information answer the questions given in part 1 and 2 find the angle at which stairs are inclined to reach the door sill 15 feet high above the ground so here an information about the boarding stairs is given so you might have seen this these are the stairs which will be kept near the door of the aircraft to climb towards the aircraft or to decline so basically these stairs will help in easy boarding and deboarding so here it's been given that larger aircrafts have door sills or doors 5 to 20 feet high. That is the height of the door of this aircraft from the ground will be somewhere between 5 to 20 feet. Now here we have been given an aircraft whose door sill is 15 feet high above the ground. So to help the passengers to easily board this aircraft, stairs are being kept and the horizontal distance of these stairs from the aircraft is given as 15 feet from the plane. So with this information given, we have to find out the angle at which the stairs have been inclined to reach the door which is at a height of 15 feet above the ground. So let us begin by drawing a rough figure for the given information. So here we have drawn a rough figure that shows the door sill of the aircraft. These are the stairs and this is the ground. So here the door sill or the door of the aircraft is at a height of 15 feet from the ground. So A represents here the door sill. B represents a point on the ground and AC represents the stairs which have been inclined to the ground and it reaches the door sill and the distance of the stairs from the aircraft that is the horizontal distance is given as 15 feet. So BC becomes 15 feet. So here we need to find out the angle at which these stairs have been inclined to reach the door and here we can see that ABC forms a right angled triangle. And to find out this angle, we are going to make use of a trigonometric ratio, which is tan. So here, since we need to find out the value of angle C, we have taken tan of angle C. And tan is always given as opposite side over the adjacent side. Now let us find out which is the opposite side, which is the adjacent side and the hypotenuse in the given triangle. Remember that the angle opposite to the given angle or the angle of concern always becomes the opposite side. So here AB becomes the opposite side. So here in place of opposite side, we have written AB. Now the side opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse. So here AC becomes the hypotenuse. And since we need the adjacent side, the default side which we have left here, that is BC becomes the adjacent side. So in place of adjacent, we have written BC. Now since the hypotenuse is not given in the question, we need to consider the opposite side and adjacent side. And that is why we have taken tan into consideration. Now once we have got this, let us plug in the values of AB and BC in this equation. So here AB we have got it as 15 feet and BC was also given as 15 feet. Now here 15 divides itself, that is 15 1 times is 15 and 15 1 times is 15. Giving us tan of angle C is equal to 1. And we know that tan of 45 degrees gives us 1 because it is a standard angle. So here we have written tan of angle C will be equal to tan of 45 degrees. Now we can cancel tan from both the sides of the equal to sign, giving us the value of angle C, that is angle of inclination of these stairs to reach the door sill as 45 degrees. So this is our answer. Now let us move on to the next question. Find the length of stairs used to reach the door sill. So here we have considered the figure we had drawn. And here we have marked the angle C, which was 45 degrees, which we got in the previous question. Now here we need to find out the length of AC, that is the length of stairs used. And for that we have to make use of a trigonometric ratio. 
So before that, let us find out the opposite side, adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So here as we have got the angle 45 degrees at point C, the side opposite to this angle is AB. So this becomes the opposite side. The side opposite to the 90 degree angle will be always the hypotenuse. So here the length of the stairs that is AC becomes the hypotenuse and the remaining side default becomes the adjacent side. So here to find out the length of the stairs, we need the hypotenuse. So here either you can use the sine trigonometric ratio or cos trigonometric ratio. So for this, I'm going to consider the sine trigonometric ratio. So here we have written, consider the right angled triangle ABC. So sine of angle C is given as opposite side over the hypotenuse. So here the opposite side is AB and the hypotenuse is AC. So we have written it over here. And since angle C is 45 degrees, we have written sine of 45 degrees is equal to, now the value of AB is 15 over, we need to find out the length of stairs that is AC. Now sine 45 is a standard angle whose value is 1 over square root of 2 is equal to 15 over AC. Now let us cross multiply these two sides of the equal to sign. So AC multiplies with 1 giving us AC is equal to, now square root of 2 multiplies with 15 giving us 15 root 2 feet. So this is the length of stairs used to reach the dorsal. So this becomes our answer. Now let us move on to the next question. If the 20 feet long stairs are inclined at an angle of 60 degrees to reach the dorsal, then find the height of the dorsal above the ground. Now here we have referred the previous figure with slight changes. Now here we have been given the length of the stairs as 20 feet and the angle of inclination of these stairs to reach the dorsal is given as 60 degrees. Here we need to find out at what height is the dorsal above the ground. So for this again we are going to make use of a trigonometric ratio. So before that let us find out the opposite side, adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So here since the angle of concern is 60 degrees, the side opposite to this angle is AB. So AB becomes the opposite side. The side opposite to 90 degrees will be the hypotenuse. So length of the stairs that is AC becomes the hypotenuse and the remaining side that is BC becomes the adjacent side. Now here they have not given us the distance of the stairs from the dorsal. So here we cannot consider BC as 15 feet as we had considered in the previous two questions. So here since we need to find out the opposite side and the hypotenuse is given to us, we do not need the adjacent side. And the trigonometric ratio which uses the opposite side and the hypotenuse is sine. So here we have written, consider the right angled triangle ABC. So sine of angle C is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Now sine of angle C will be equal to AB is the opposite side and AC is the hypotenuse. So we have written it over here. And the angle C value is given as 60 degrees here. So sine of 60 degrees will be equal to AB over the length of AC is 20. Now sine 60 is a standard angle whose value is square root of 3 over 2. So we have written its value over here equal to AB over 20. Now let us take 20 on the other side of equal to sine so that it multiplies with square root of 3 over 2 giving us AB is equal to 20 times square root of 3 over 2. Now here 2 divides 20 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 10 times is 20 giving us AB is equal to 10 times root 3. Now here in the question they have asked us to use square root of 3 is equal to 1.732. So here we have written 10 times 1.732 giving us the height of the dorsal from the ground that is AB equal to 17.32 feet. So this is going to be our answer. What should be the shortest possible length of the stairs to reach the dorsal of the plane 20 feet above the ground if the angle of elevation cannot exceed 30 degrees also find the horizontal distance of the base of the stair car from the plane now here in this question we have to find out two things the first thing is the length of the stairs when the dorsal is situated 20 feet above the ground and the horizontal distance of the stair car from the plane so we need to find out ac and we need to find out bc and it is also given that the angle of elevation of these stairs to reach the dorsal cannot exceed. Means it cannot be more than 30 degrees, but it can be equal to 30 degrees. 
So here we have considered the angle of elevation as 30 degrees at point C. Now once we have got this figure, let us first find out the length of the stairs. And for that we need the opposite side, adjacent side and the hypotenuse to decide which trigonometric ratio to be used here. So here the opposite side to 30 degrees is AB. So this becomes the opposite side. AC is opposite to 90 degrees, so this becomes the hypotenuse and BC default becomes the adjacent side. And since we are going to find out AC, that is hypotenuse first and opposite side is given, let us make use of the sine trigonometric ratio. So here we have written, consider the right angled triangle ABC. So sine of angle C is equal to opposite side over the hypotenuse. So opposite side is AB and hypotenuse is AC. And angle C value is going to be 30 degrees here. So we have written sine 30 is equal to AB becomes 20 over the hypotenuse is AC. Now sine 30 is a standard angle whose value is 1 over 2. So we have written 1 over 2 is equal to 20 over AC. Now let us cross multiply. That is AC multiplies with 1 and 2 multiplies with 20. So AC will be equal to 2 times 20 giving us the length of the stairs as 40 feet. Now once we have got the value of AC, let us find out the value of BC and since we need to find out the adjacent side over here and the opposite side is given to us, let us make use of the trigonometric ratio tan. So here tan of angle C is given as opposite side over the adjacent side. So tan of angle C will be equal to opposite side is AB and adjacent side is BC. Now taking the value of angle C as 30 degrees, we get tan of 30 degrees is equal to AB is 20 feet over BC. Now tan 30 is a standard angle whose value is 1 over square root of 3 is equal to 20 over BC. Now cross multiplying, BC multiplies with 1 giving us BC equal to, now 20 multiplies with square root of 3 giving us 20 times square root of 3 or you can change the value of square root of 3 as 1.732 and convert it into decimals giving us the value as 34.64. So here the horizontal distance of the stairs from the plane is 20 root 3 feet or 34.64 feet. This is going to be our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then check out this playlist where you'll find more examples of this kind. And if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.